Hello! This is about using multiple materials in Peter the Inn. So it is actually very easy. All you need to do is have um, different materials assigned or different um, face groups. For example, this is a single mesh, but you can see that uh, this part has the uh, material um, Crayola assigned and this one is assigned to head, etc. Uh, also, if if you have different objects, like this are completely separate objects, this doesn't really matter uh, because what matters is they have assigned different uh, materials, as I said. So when exporting, uh, be sure that your exporter has the uh, MTL and materials options enabled. For example, here write materials and I think that's enough for uh, this is in Blender. I'm, I'm sure in uh, any software it's probably similar. And now in P3D in, what you have to do is I have the the files already exported here, so select everything, uh, including the OBJ, the MTL, uh, which is optional, but it will probably save you some time, and the textures. And if it decides to work, it will uh, automatically. Um, pick the, the diffuse colors for every material, the textures that it can find. It's I mean, it will not do a perfect job because the MTL is, is a bit limited. Um, also, you have here the entire list of materials, so you can play with them. And, of course, um, what I was mentioning about is the detail maps. Um, for example, we have a diffuse texture here for the cork material and we can use a diffuse detail uh, of course you can upload your own texture but I will use maybe this one and uh, yes uh, we, don't, we do not support multiple UV maps this will use the same UV map but you can uh, tile it so this is being tiled uh, once, but if you increase the slider, it will um, it will be uh, tiled ten times or whatever you need. And I believe that may help you. Of course, we can use the same for for bump maps or or normals. All right, hope that helps.